We're going to do a run through real quick. I've wrote down the things that has been revealed to me within the past several months. And I'm calling out the naysayers. I'm calling out the ones that have been saying things that are not what God is saying. Uh, everybody's putting everybody in fear mode and still like that. I get that things are happening. And yes, Jesus is closer every day. And yes, he is coming. But, y'all have rejected the word of the Lord too many times through this process. When all this first began, the Lord said, only believe. It came to me. Only believe. Then it was, I am with you. Everything is going to be okay. And then through another sister, this too shall pass. Then, in the process of that, waiting, I was led to scripture about false prophets. Exposed in Jeremiah chapter 15 and chapter 23. Look it up. And then. The refreshing is coming. Plain as day. And Jericho walls. Come down. They're going to come down. It's a spiritual battle. That our state is in. I tell you one. God won. There's a remnant in every part. Every state of the U.S. The blood of Jesus is red. It's locked in. God won. Not man. Not this one or that one. But God won. But the devil meant for harm. God used for good. Even though bad things happened. God was able to save souls through this. And bring people to repentance. <clears throat> and I'm going to share something that came to me. I'm not going to say whether it was or was not the Lord. But I will say that. It makes sense. Instead of seeking me wholeheartedly, they sought to figure figure out this whole thing. I'm not in what they are doing at the White House. I'm not in this. I will take Jericho walls down. As you've seen people climbing the balcony, so will I. I, with my mighty hand, against thee, when you think things are peace, they are not. All have gone backward. All have went astray. This is a disgrace to my name. This nation is not under God. It's under demonic powers, influence, darkness. I am not pleased to how my people have reacted to this. However, I knew this. If they, if my people, will seek and turn from their wicked ways, I will heal their land. Not all will enter into the land of milk and honey. The manna I have is not from this world. I will kill the spirit of lust and perversion. I will destroy how it looks. Look to me. I will bring you peace. This is the word of the Lord in 2021. My people have prophesied foolishly, but however, I will forgive them. Then a thought came to me. Jesus is the way, the truth, the light. It just, it's disturbing because you got so many people, they, they use their platforms to get, they've prophesied what will be outcome and this or that out of their lustful hearts. God never said who would or wouldn't. Maybe he did. This is just my thoughts and feelings. I'm not saying anyone is or isn't a false one. I'm just saying my point, my forget, my feelings and everything. So, um, I just feel that people have really twisted it. And you've we got to focus off of Jesus. Anytime you get the focus off of Jesus, Satan is in it. Anytime your eyes look to man, Satan is in it. You know, the Ark of the Covenant. David had went to get it. And he brought all these people to sing and dance and play music for the Lord. He thought that would be pleasing to the Lord. But that wasn't what he was looking for. Then David reevaluated the situation. He went in a different and more humble way and then brought the Ark of the Covenant out. And when he did that and realized, okay, this is how I should do it. No longer can we do things our way. We have to do them God's way. God is saying, not your way anymore, my way. That's what he's saying. If we really pay attention to what's happening, church got used to just going to. And people, when God would have someone tell them, hey, God said, tell my people to repent, they wouldn't receive it. Everything fell on deaf ears. So a form of judgment may have come, yes. 
but God will do what he said. And in all the states of the U.S., there's a remnant. There's remnants around the world. But I've seen us covered in the blood of Jesus and it's locked in. For those who have turned to him, God is protecting you. That's why he hasn't come near you. Read Psalms 91. Now, all this being said, I'm not saying whether God did or didn't say these things. I'm just saying these are what came to me. This is what dropped in me throughout this time. But there was times, and you can look back on the videos, of what I did say that did come from the Lord. I only believe I'm with you. Everything is going to be okay. And the refreshing is coming. And through another sister, this too shall pass. Now, that being said, as of the 25th, I know some places that the kids are going back in school. They might have to wear masks. Okay. I am so over these people that say they can predict when Jesus is coming and doing things. Jesus is coming soon. Yes. Yes, the evidence is there. Yes, he is knocking at the door. But I don't know when, and you don't know when. Only God in heaven, our Father God, only he knows the exact day, time, and hour that the Lord Jesus Christ will come. The Holy Spirit will bear witness them with our spirit and show us what we need to focus on. Get your eyes back on Jesus. This is enough of focusing on the Lord. We've prayed. We've fasted. We've turned from the ways. Most of us. Some of us said, I'm going to keep doing what I want. Now, if you did hear the Lord through these things and there's some things that he told you different, praise God, fleece it. Wait. But stop trying to condemn people. Yes, bad things are happening. But not every dream you have is from God. The dream can come from God, yourself, or the devil. Not every thought you have is from God. Not every word you hear is from God. It can be from God, yourself, or the devil. There is three sources to everything because it's a spiritual. You don't see the spiritual. The spiritual is more real than this. The aspect of where God is. He's more real than you and me. And we'll give the devil too much credit. We say people have demons and this and that. Sometimes they do. But you know what? Sometimes people are just mean. And they just don't care. They just got bad hearts. And you got to pray all the more for the heart. And it is difficult. But God said endure. And to those that overcome. Those are the ones that be rewarded. So. Take a break from media. Take a break from negativity. Take a break of these people trying to predict something. It's borderline mediums. Are they not saying they are? Well, I prophesy. I know this. I know that. Some of them, some of them are legit. Yes. Some of them are telling the truth. Some of them, oh, so, so, really, really, really just bad. And that's all I had to say on that. I'm kind of venting a little bit. But this is just how I feel about everything's happening. And I wanted to update. This is what's happened within the past several months. And share each of that little words that had come because so you can understand as a whole what I'd received and what I was led and prompted to do by the Lord and I will continue as he tells me but I will be taking another long break because I need to get in more of the presence of the Lord and um and which I still do throughout the week but sometimes it's okay to take a resting season as your sister in Christ I'm urging you to rest in the Lord ignore all of these other things Focus on Christ Jesus.